Hello, this is Tov from Trifold Production with another Blender quick tip. And in this quick tip, I'm going to show everyone an add-on that actually helps you pick part of your model in the user interface of Blender. And it shows up an outliner off to the right. So usually uh, with Blender, this doesn't happen, but it should by default, but it's not part of the uh, code, I guess. But a developer has made this add-on to help us easily use Blender. And this is for, I'm using it in 2.92. Uh, the newer versions are for 3.0 and above. Uh, and once, uh, I'll leave a link of it below this video so you can download yourself and check it out. But once you've downloaded it onto your system, all you have to do is just the same process for installing it into Blender. Go to Edit, Preferences, navigate to where you've downloaded it onto your system, click on Install. And I've done that myself already. I'm going to type it in, Auto, and put a check in the box that activates it. And it doesn't show up in the tool panel, it just shows up in the outliner. I've already have a scene set up so you can check it out and see how it works through this scene that I've uh, created. And this scene that I'm going to work or use it or highlight it with is a scene I'm working on for a short for the channel. But it's the model of a person. And when you click on any part of the model, it'll show up in the outliner. Left click, basic t-shirt. Left click clicks on the, or highlights the human model in the outliner. Same thing with the hair by default, it clicks on that. It says default, but this is just an afro. Click on the model of the pen, same thing uh, shows up here. Now it says default because I haven't named or renamed any of these parts of the model, but uh, you get the idea. Another thing this add-on can do, which is pretty cool. Uh, let me open up another scene here. File, New, General. Let's not save that. Let's keep the default cube in the scene. Let's press Shift A on our keyboard, Mesh, Plane. And let's pull this over. Now we're going to create a collection for this plane. I'm going to left click on Scene Selection, right click. New Collection, double click on, oh sorry about that, double click on that collection uh, name. And change this to Plane, P-L-A-N-E, Enter. Now let's uh, reposition our window here. Left click on our plane there. Press M on our keyboard and that brings up the pop-up menu for the collections. And click on plane. We want to put the plane in that collection. Now the add-on is still activated. So when you click on the cube, it collapses uh, that first collection for the, where the cube is to highlight the cube. Left click on the plane. It collapses the plane and then uh, shrinks the first collection down. So that's a cool feature that it also has. If you have a lot of collections in your scene, uh, if you click on any model or item in that collection, it's going to collapse that collection and minimize the others and vice versa. Any, anything you click on in your scene that's part of a collection, it expands the collection and minimizes the other collections just to save you space in the outliner uh, viewport here. And that's today's Blender Quick Tip, and it was pretty quick. Uh, once again, thank you guys who have been watching the videos, and remember to like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys on the next one. All right, adios. Uh, the newer versions of the add-on are for 3.3 .3 and above. And it's an add on, uh, I heard, wait, dab, 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 dab